I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS. Your SOS. I will send out an army to find you. In the middle of the darkest night, it's true. I will rescue you. There is no distance that cannot be covered over and over. You are not defenseless. I'll be your shelter. I'll be your armor. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS. Your SOS. Yeah, you know, Daniel's born, um, I think that, you know, he was born without one hand. We didn't know. Um, I remember seeing him born, you know, when he was born, I was about to say for the first time, like he was born multiple times. When I first saw him, yeah, it was shocking, of course. Uh, we had some indications um, that um, uh, something was wrong um, because of what was going on inside her. And, um, you know, of course, um, we first, uh, I first saw that it was very, Hard, you know, um, but even at that moment when we named him, <clears throat> it's weird because, um, you know, I never really we, we think about names and try to put it put it together. But this mm -hmm. name, she 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 allowed me to name him myself. And, uh, normally, we, uh, with the other children, we kind of, uh, except for the oldest, he's named he's my junior. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, but twins, uh, we kind of broke them off. My children are mad at us today. They have a long name. I can tell you their whole name. They have, they have very long names. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, the way they were going through school, they had to spell those long names. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so, uh, but it's just that with Daniel, uh, she was like, hey, you know, I go ahead and name him. And when I was naming him, you know, I thought about Daniel in the Bible, you know, and I also the yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah. Cornelius mm -hmm. was the most that stood out to me the most because. Uh, Cornelius is a, gen, uh, a Gentile who has mm -hmm. his name in uh, a memorial in heaven. Heaven, right? He's mm -hmm. the first Gentile to be saved. Um, you know, so he, he looking, um, I think it was in the book of Acts. And I'm not going to preach tonight, but I'm just saying, right. you know, his name, yeah, his, his name is significant. And it was very mm -hmm. significant, it's, uh, you know, and, um, and also Cornelius. And so okay. when those names were given to me, I didn't really understand why. And then when, um, you know, of course, like I said, he was born the way he was. Um, yeah. When we started to understand some of the reasons why. Um, and and um, the fact that when Daniel was growing up, the first thing, well, I guess he was looking at his siblings, and he noticed that he only had one hand. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, his his mother, she handled that. You know, he went to her. Uh, yeah. Mom, why I only have one hand? And uh, she told him that, uh, you know, God has his hand, you know. And he's, he's, he has a special hand, and God has it, and he's going to give it back to him one day. Mm -hmm. So I think that kind of helped uh, Daniel along uh, when he got, um, you know, as he was growing up. Like I said, he, he, um, his mother, and uh, we, we debated on, we went to uh, see some prosthetics for him as he's, you know, getting over, getting ready to go into school. Mm -hmm. And uh, we quickly, I mean, Daniel, he, he, he whined and complained about those prosthetics. He did not <laughs> And I think his mom wanted him to wear because of the cosmetic, and she wanted the kids to you know to make fun of him and things like that. And, yeah. and uh, but Dane's like, no, he he didn't, he just didn't want it. And uh, so um, you know, eventually, uh, <laughs> as much as I tell say, well, he don't want it, you know, just don't let him have it. She no, he need to have it. And then it came to the point that she had to be like, well, he don't want it. We had to let it go. <laughs> so, take it off. Uh, it was yeah. Daniel, he was, uh, he was, he was he's. He's confident in himself, and that goes back yeah. to what I said to this day. You know, Daniel is uh, somehow he's a confident guy. You know, what I'm saying he's a very confident guy, and um, awesome. that that was that's why people look at Daniel like. And I tell you, when he was growing up, he never got treated no different. Like what I expected from the rest <laughs> of the we expected from him. You know, saying no pity party and say, oh, right. you know, he figured everything out from mm -hmm. video games to whatever, you know, awesome. he figured it all out and he does it because to him it's normal. It's natural. He was born that way. 
And right. um, so right. it wasn't never a hindrance to him. Never. Right. I mean, one time seeing it been a hindrance where we had to babysit him on anything. So um, Dane's been doing really well. Did he have anything in his car that he needed to to turn the wheel or anything like that? I never really. Oh, not at all. Wow. Not at all. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it's, uh, it, I'll tell you, Dane is an extraordinary guy. He's, uh, yeah. oh man, just, uh, yeah, he, fixes, he was fixing his vehicle. Me and him, uh, I told you, I just have a cylinder too. Um, I just like fixing vehicles. And uh, I have them right up under that vehicle with me, learning how to, daughters too, they need to know too, because um, I have this thing, yeah. you know, my daughters need to know how to take care of themselves and don't yes. get this guy, you know. And uh, so, um, you know, something happened to their car on the side of the road. They can handle that, you know. Yes, yeah, so, right. So, I agree. So, you know, um, you know, so they get the basics about certain things, and um, and, and Daniel is one of them. Um, get up on that car, and him, and his brother, and I know he appreciated. Now he's whining and complaining. <laughs> no, I just yeah. think about it, I kind of laugh. I just think about all kind of things. I remember um, when I got military. I know a different story, but uh, I remember this one time he and his brother say, "Dad, I want to go to the gym with you." I said, "Oh yeah, you want to go to the gym with me? Wow, okay, let's go." I uh -huh. Post and uh, we was going to the gym on post, and um, you know I just got back from Afghanistan pretty much and make a long story. <laughs> and um, and um, well, I was, I, yeah, I was somewhere in the military. I don't know if I was just back from one of the deployments. I know, and um, uh, we was going to the gym, and um, uh, and you know, we, the overhand claps is one of the normal things we do in the military. And uh, they like they couldn't do that, and I remember yelling at them and like, you can't lift up your own arms. You know, it's pretty much. <laughs> I just know that they went home and uh, they was telling the mom behind my back. I didn't know. And she came up to me and said, Dave, you need to take it easy on the boys. It's like, you went drill sergeant mode on them. And <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of funny because, uh, you know, I say, oh, they was doing that. So they lift their own arms. It's their arms, you know. And, you know, <laughs> and about arms. <laughs> God gave you more arms and you lift it, you know. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of memories. It's fun memories with those boys. Yeah. You know, so, um, Daniel, just like I said, just so much. He's, I just miss him a whole lot. You know, I miss him a whole lot. By every little thing. You know, um, one of the things I do regret is um, a little before he went missing. I think it was probably been about a month before he went missing. And uh, you know, Daniel would sometimes um, say things that irritated me. You know, <laughs> and I said, um, you know. Uh, Daniel, really, you know, I've seen things that irritate me, for instance, not using common sense. To be so brilliant, he not using <laughs> common sense. Like, for instance, um, just with this whole case here, um, he'll spend a night on some woman's house he didn't know. You know, that's the kind of thing that irritates me. He know me. He know mm -hmm. I am. You know better. You your brain. Right. And you just don't do that, you know. That type right. of thing. But I would say I would give anything for him to irritate me right now with something. something right. that he, would, he always asked me. He would ask me all the time and question me and Oh, just I just miss those type things. Right, the the, mm. the the things that got under your skin. It's like oh, just yeah, yeah. yeah. Too brilliant to make that kind of you know. <laughs> I mean, we all make mistakes. We make those mistakes, and uh, but you know, just uh, sometimes you have to think, really think before you move, make a move. So, I mean, um, that's just human nature, though. I mean, shoot, I know I've told my son a couple times, uh, uh, not right now, not right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, just don't beat yourself up. No. Yes. Yes. Um, this is um. David's page that he created on Twitter for Daniel um, is just beautiful. Two days before your 25th birthday, Daniel. Wow. Yes. I think that's just beautiful. We're looking for you, baby. Let me read what you wrote. Geologist Daniel Cornelius Robinson went missing on June 23rd from his job site in Buckeye, Arizona, desert. I will be conducting the 22nd week of searches for him this weekend, a day after his birthday. I need your help. Please help find Daniel.com. January 14th, 2022, geologist Daniel Robinson, my son, will be 25 years old. Time has gone by since he was playing instruments with his junior high school to starting his career in geology. Daniel is a man of many talents. I miss him. We got some photos. 
in the band. What's that? The um, what is that? I don't know trumpet. my <laughs> my instruments. <laughs> this, this little trumpet. A trumpet. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one that. See the how you do one. that now. Well, you think you have a, you think got a trombone, team. but uh, he, he did trombone also. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, I really don't know my instrument. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of a marching band type trumpets right there. If, um, um, look at those. The trumpets. We did the um, French horn also. Nice. That was now, the French horn was he, was, he has an arm here, right? Let me take this out of your face. He, at this time, you guys were still kind of trying to get him to keep the arm, I see, right? Yes, he And does. this one, okay, this one he does. Yes. yes. He's holding his arm, though. He like, man, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you don't really want it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more yeah. than a kind of force it on him, yes. Wow. <laughs> Handsome dude. Look at him. Look at him. I can see the confidence <laughs> right there. Yeah. Look at that confidence. Yeah, yeah. he mm -hmm. the trumpet. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. And he looked like he got a little sweaty. That means he was really like, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, on, on that game. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I used to be in the pep squad. Now I was talking man. more about the, about the band, you know. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, it sure is. Watch the game, you know? <laughs> it sure is. I know. Well, see, I'm from Louisiana, mm -hmm. so Grambling State. Oh, yeah. You know, I know about <laughs> some bands. Yes. He's such a handsome dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know oh, what? yeah. Indeed, indeed. So the video that I have um, is is a slideshow that I put together, and I had to pray and pray and pray, literally pray on it to find the right song. And it's funny because all the songs I thought were right were not is not the ones that I ended up with. <laughs> um, they were really good songs, but they just I guess they didn't have the message and the mood and everything that I needed. And I ended up coming back to a song that it was played for Xavier Harrelson. I remember when they did his um, his vigil, All in Orange, out at uh, at the, the high school. We played it for Summer Wells plenty of times. So a lot of us, even in this room, know the song I'm talking about. John, you know. The rescue song. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, I said, yeah. I finally got this. And now I knew about the song, but it was like number five or six. And then I finally said, you know what? Just listen to it again. Because that's what I was doing. You know, I had to pray first and I have to listen to it and feel it. That's right. And I listened to that song and I said, this is this is Daniel's song now. It's just one of those songs is going to be passed along. For one, we're talking about rescuing. Right. And we need to rescue people that are lost. But the way she sings about sending out an army, I, I all I see is David. I said, this is this is the song for Daniel and David. So that's the song I went with. And it's a beautiful song. And it totally fits, especially when they have a father that is so invested as you are really sending out that army to find their baby. So that's the song that I chose, and um, and I'm trying not to get emotional. I hope that it doesn't make you emotional. Yeah. It's just a collection of the, the pictures that you sent me, and um, before I play it, is there anything that else that you would like to say? Because I think afterwards we'll, we'll we'll just end it on that note. Because I might not be too much good. Um, well, I want to tell you. I want to tell you, thank you in advance. Uh, uh, thank you so much for putting putting your work into it. Uh, I can imagine, I can see your heart, and I'm really grateful for you. You're welcome. John, anything at all? No, I'm in the moment right now. All right, beautiful people. So let's check out this video for Daniel. Let's put some hearts in the chat and say happy birthday to this beautiful baby boy. Let me go ahead and just play this for you. <sighs> okay, y'all, sorry. We're with you.
there's so much heat going on in the world. So much pain, so much suffering. This is for those who need a risk. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Yeah, that's that's. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Mr. Robinson, we got your back. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know that. Thank you. Okay. We're here with you. Yeah. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night.
Good night, David. You're very welcome. So much heat going on in the world. So much pain, so much suffering. This is for those who need a risk. Thank you. 